welcome to another Chamber Valley Maths tutorial. It's Mr Gordon here. We're going to be looking at the foundation paper for GCSE and we're going to be looking at the grade 5 questions. So I'm looking at the last 5 questions on a foundation paper to see if we can boost those skills so we can get a strong finish at the end of each of the foundation papers. So paper 1 is non-calculator. One of the first questions from the last 5 is to do with baking and recipes. So, if you watch the Bake Off, you know you've got to get your recipes right, otherwise bad things happen. Thick crusts, soggy bottoms, poor Hollywood not being very happy, not giving you that handshake that you want. So, let's have a look at the question. We are looking at making eight shortbread biscuits, and we've got a recipe that makes eight shortbread biscuits, okay? So the numbers in the recipe, the numbers here, are for eight biscuits. We, however, in our cupboard, we have 330 grams of butter, 200 grams of caster sugar, and 450 grams of flour. So we have more than the recipe needs. So it says work out the greatest number of shortbread biscuits that you can make with the ingredients that you have in your cupboard. So let's start by working out how much does one biscuit actually take to make. So the recipe's for eight. I'm going to do another recipe sheet here just for one biscuit, okay, one biscuit. So I need to divide all of these figures by eight, and that will tell me how much I need for one. So I'm going to do this in a bus stop method. So I'm going to do eight divided by 120 to work out how much butter one biscuit needs. Eight into one doesn't go. Cross the one out. How fast forward. 8 into 12 goes once, the remainder 4, 8 into 40 goes 5. So I know that I need, for my one biscuit, I need 15 grams of butter. So I'll put that up there to remind us, 15 grams of butter. Now on to sugar. So sugar is 60, 60 grams makes 8, let's divide that by 8. So 8 into 6 won't go, cross it out, pass it over, 8 into 60, goes seven times, I know that seven times eight is 56. So there's not quite a 60, there is a remainder there to pass over. Where do I pass it over to? Run out of numbers. If you, this situation occurs, put a decimal point in, add on a zero, pass your remainder over to the zero. Eight into 40 goes five again. Don't forget to line up your decimal points. So our answer for one biscuit is 7.5 grams of sugar needed. So we'll bear that in mind, that will help us later. The last one is flour. 8 into 180. 8 into 1 doesn't go, pass the 1 over. 8 into 18, that goes twice. I know 2 18s is 16, so I've got a remainder of 2, pass that over. And then 8 into 20, well that goes twice again, doesn't it? 2 8 to 16, I need to pass a remainder over, put on the uh, point zero and pass the four over to the zero. Eight into forty goes in five again, and a decimal point lining up to make sure we don't get an answer that's too big. So two twenty-two point five grams of flour for one biscuit. Right now we've got a recipe for eight and a recipe for one. Let's see how many biscuits we can make with three hundred and thirty grams of butter. How many biscuits can we make? So I'm going to use the 120 first to see how many lots of that go into 330. Well, I know two lots of 120 is 240. So that's not quite all the way there, but we're getting there. And each of these 120s is worth eight biscuits because it comes from the eight biscuit recipe. So how much is left? Well, 330 take away the 240 that I've already used is going to leave me with 90. So I've got 90 grams left. I can't put another 8 in, because obviously that's too big. Let's go to our 1 biscuits. How many more biscuits can I make, individual ones? I need to see how many 15s go into 90. 90 divided by 15 is going to leave me with 6. And that's 6 more biscuits there. So I've got 8, 8, which is 16, plus 6 means I've got 22 biscuits from the butter. So with the butter I can make 22 biscuits. 
Now let's look at sugar. So 200 grams of sugar. I'm looking at this recipe again, so we can bulk up um, in blocks of eight to see how many sets of eight we can make. Well, 60 grams of sugar will make eight biscuits. Another 60, that's 120. That's going to make two lots of eight. Another 60 is 180, so we're still not quite there yet. Still got a bit of sugar left over. But if I count up how many biscuits I can make, I've got eight, eight, and eight. Three lots of eight. That already gives me 24 biscuits. Now, you've got to think about this. Can I make 24 biscuits if I've, only, if I've got these ingredients? Because if I try and make 24 biscuits, I've already run out, out of butter by then because I've, got, I've only got enough butter to make 22. So I've already run out of one ingredient when I try and make the other two biscuits here. So I can't actually make 24 because I would run out of butter already. So, so far, 22 is the greatest number we can make. Let's just check the flour to see if that affects anything. 450 grams of flour. Let's see how many 180s we can put into uh, 450. I know two 180s, that's quite a popular sum in maths, isn't it? Two 180s is 360. So that's 16 biscuits, because I've gone two lots of eight. That's 16. What's the difference between 450 and 360? Well, that's going to be 90. So we've got 90 grams of flour left. 22.5 grams makes one biscuit. So how many 22.5s go into 90? This looks like an awkward number to work with, 22.5. So I'm just going to do 22.5. That's one biscuit. Add another one. What does that add up to? Well, if you add this up, two fives to 10, pass the one over. 2, 4, 2, 2, and 1 is 5, and 2, 2 is a 4. So 45 grams is 2 biscuits. And I know that 2 lots of 45 make 90. So that's 2 lots of biscuits there from here. Another 2. And that's another 4 biscuits I could squeeze in there. So I've got 16 from the first bit that I did, plus the extra 4. That's 20 biscuits. And after I've made 20, I will run out of flour. Okay? So I can't even make the, the extra two over here, can I? Because I would have run out of flour. So you're actually looking for the lowest number that you get from one of your ingredients. That's the maximum amount of biscuits because when you get to that number, you've then run out of that ingredient and you can't make any more. So the answer to this would be 20 biscuits. That is the number that I can make with the ingredients provided. I hope that's been useful. Um, keep revising and we'll look forward to the upcoming sessions.